Alright, what's up everybody? Back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one. And uh, the NBA is an amazing place. You know, the NBA is something. It's something. I literally just finished making my content. I just finished my mock draft. I did a short that I'm, that's going to come out later. And I finally, alright, now I can just relax for a few hours before the draft starts. I sat down for five minutes, and all of a sudden, Chris Paul is not a wizard. Jordan Poole is not a warrior anymore. It's the Jordan Poole Chris Paul trade literally happened five minutes ago. I'm gonna talk about it really quick, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. Really appreciate it. Do it the content around here. Consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. Video really upset a lot, and let's get right into it. So yeah, the NBA uh, never stops moving. You know. Um, Literally, we had the Porzingis, that whole ordeal last night. This morning, not really much going on. Just talking about the Porzingis trade from last night. Some pick trades happened. The Lakers traded for the 40th pick and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, uh, Shams tweets, Washington and Golden State are close on a trade, sending Chris Paul to the Warriors for Jordan Poole. And a few minutes later, it happens. Uh, and actually, some more stuff is coming out right now. Uh, so basically, the basic thing of the trade is, Chris Paul is going to be a Warrior. And Jordan Poole is going to be a wizard. The full trade right now, uh, the Warriors are sending Jordan Poole, Ryan Rollins, apparently just now, uh, a protected first round pick in 2030, and a 2027 second round pick to the Wizards for Chris Paul. The Wizards got Chris Paul in the Bradley Field trade. They made a trade last night, and the Wizards are really just dealing right now. The Michael Winger came in and just... Is flipping everybody. And now they flip Chris Paul for Jordan Poole and Ryan Rollins and some picks. Uh, very unexpected. And you know Chris Paul was going to be coveted. The Warriors were a team coveting him. But I did not think it was gonna a trade was going to happen like this. Uh, let's talk about it real quick. For the Warriors side. They get Chris Paul. A guy that, you know, this kind of tells me right now that the Warriors are still going into the dynasty. And now, honestly, this kind of makes me a lot more confident that Draymond Green is going to be a Warrior next year. And it's coming back to Golden State. You know, uh, Chris Paul's a dude that, you know, last year they had a lot of young players. Their bench was very bad, and now Chris Paul comes in and is going to be the sixth man. He's going to control the bench, and he plays now in the Warriors system where he can feed a lot of players. He doesn't have to do too much. He can just come off the bench for Steph and Clay, and, you know, kind of facilitate and be that. You know, and even if he's in is injured, you still got Steph Curry, you know, so it's not really that much. Uh, but giving up Jordan Poole is tough. Two years ago, he was a vital piece in winning a championship. Gave him a lot of money, and now a year later, he's gone. Um, you traded him for Chris Paul. Which, what a fall for Jordan Poole. You know, and it's probably very tough. The Warriors probably had a hard time giving him up. Well, hard time, eh. He did make some a lot of crazy stuff happen uh, this year in the playoffs. But now, you get a guy in Chris Paul, Mike Dunleavy Jr., now the new GM. Other Warriors are trying to keep this dynasty alive for just a little bit longer. And now they think Chris Paul is going to be the answer for the backup point guard position. And they did have to give up Jordan Boy. They did have to give up a first-round pick, but in 2030. In 2030, Steph, Clay, and Draymond might not even be in the league anymore. So who cares about that first-round pick right now? And then um, a second round in 2027. Again, that's four years from now. Uh, and then Ryan Rollins, who was... I, I forgot what pick he was last year in the draft, but I remember him... He didn't even play. He wasn't going to play. So, honestly, when you look at the Warriors, it's not really giving up too much. I mean, of course, Jordan Poole was a big part of the team and commanded a lot of money. But now you give him up to get Chris Paul, a dude that um, is going to come in and really help this team's depth. He's going to be a really good player in the system, a veteran leader, maybe for guys if they do keep Kaminga and Moody. I think he'll help them out a lot. And they're going to have their 19th overall pick this year. Um... That can come in and help. So this is a very solid trade for the Warriors. I'm thinking about it. You know, very good. For the Wizards, uh, they give away Chris Paul, who they wanted, they've they been wanting to give him away for a while. He, you know he was going to play. Uh, and they take a chance. Honestly, I don't really mind it for the Wizards. They take a chance on Jordan Poole, even though he is getting a lot of money. Um, at this point, the Wizards just don't have anything right now. And Jordan Poole has shown the potential of being a really good player. And now he can go to Washington and kind of spread his wings and do whatever he wants. They're going to have Jordan Poole. They're going to have the eighth overall pick in this year's draft. Um, and just build on that. And maybe some more deals. They picked up Ty's Jones. Maybe they're going to flip Ty's Jones for something else. And Gallinari to get something decent. 
So they get they did get to take a chance on Jordan Poole. And at this point with the Wizards, again, they don't really have anything. So I kind of I like when teams like this, rebuilding teams that don't have anything, just take a chance on a dude, on Jordan Poole. You know, he kind of was losing value in Golden State after his performance last season. He's a dude that was a really key piece to a championship team. He's still only, what, like maybe 23 years old. So at this point, why not for Washington? Why not get him and see what you can do with Jordan Poole? They also get a first-round pick, which is crazy. I just tweeted out the Wizards didn't get, didn't get a first for Beal or Porzingis, but they got a first for Chris Paul. The NBA is just ridiculous like that. Uh, they get Ryan Rollins, another dude that I think has some potential, and he can, you could try him out as well, especially if you gave up Jordan Goodwin and the Chris Paul Bradley Beal trade, so you get another backup point guard, maybe can do something. You get a first this year, and then you get a 2027 20, second round pick. You know, a uh, very solid trade for both sides. For the Warriors, I think this is a good trade. For the Wizards, it's a very interesting trade, but I feel like what you're going to get for Chris Paul, this is probably the most you could have got for Chris Paul. Because the Lakers and Clippers weren't giving you anything like this. The Warriors and Clippers don't have, Lakers and Clippers don't have young players like Jordan Poole that you could potentially buy in on and do something. And even honestly, the contract doesn't even matter for the Wizards right now. Like at this point, the Wizards aren't trying to sign any superstar free agent. I know superstar free agents going to Washington, so why not just take them and see what happens? You know, I, I like I honestly like this. Look, thinking about it more, I like this for both sides. I think it's a very solid trade. It was just very came out of nowhere. Like literally a few minutes before the trade happened, it was a report by Jake Fisher that said that. The Warriors are in trade talks in Jordan Poole and looking at Jordan Poole trade. And then like five minutes later, it said Jordan Poole's getting traded to the Wizards. <laughs> yeah, the, the NBA is something, man. Uh, I hope I hope stuff happens, but I hope it doesn't happen now because I'm going to have to make videos. If stuff happens during the draft, I'm not going to make a video about it until yes, tomorrow when I talk about the entire draft. But we'll see, man. I've already made three videos today and a short. Uh, yeah. But I love it, though. I love it, though. The NBA... Never stops moving, and we love it. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you enjoyed the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, all stuff like that. I really appreciate it. We have that a lot, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully.